Hi everyone! In this video, we will try to find the answer to the question Please explain the testing principle. Early testing saves time and money. Let's begin. Early testing saves time and money is the third principle defined in ISTQB, and the explanation of it is very similar to the first principle, with small differences. Let's start with the definition. Here is what the ISTQB definition says about the principle. The explanation is not simple, so we have provided our own interpretation of it. You can pause the video and read it. If you don't know what is ISTQB, the link to its website will be provided in the materials for the lecture. This principle may sound logical and self-explained, but it is not as easy to explain as it seems. The easiest way is to use it in the software development lifecycle. We have a separate video about different SDLC models. In this video, we'll demonstrate a simplified and not accurate SDLC. It consists of four stages only. Requirement, design, coding, and production. Let's check what happens in each of the stages. And we start with requirement phase. The product owner, business analyst, or someone else writes the requirements. This user story is simple. It's about user registration. And the list of fields is provided in the scope of it. Can you find a bug? There is one in the story. If you can't, it's okay, because testing is context-dependent. Some requirements are valid for one project, and the same requirement can be a bug for another project. Anyway, a bug is there. And to define and writing the requirement takes time. Mostly, those are not just a line of text, like in poor sentence. If you work on a complex or a big project, there are tons of requirements. And most of them are interconnected and interdependent. Even if the tester would find a bug now, it still would take time and money to fix those. But it would be cheaper than in the next stage. The design phase. The designer draws the mock-up of the page. The designer spent a couple of hours designing the form, but as the bug was in the requirements, the same bug was introduced in the design. And again, in our case, feature is very simple, so it seems that even if the designer would make a mistake, it would be easy to fix. But it's not the case on real projects. Sometimes designers would need to redo designs in lots of pages, or even start from scratch. So not only designer's time. To redesign some functional requirements, you would need to have a meeting with developers and product owners, so it's very costly, but not as costly as the next stage. As we had a bug in the design, the bug was introduced into the development or coding phase. Developers needed to create a database, design, and develop APIs, write a lot and a lot of code, and in the end, create the form. So now the bug is everywhere in the system. Even in our simple example, we hope it's clear. Redesigning the database and fixing the back end and front end is not an easy activity. It will be very costly. And remember, it is a very simple example. After coding is done, feature is ready to be introduced to the users. We go to the production phase. And a lot of users don't have a problem with the form at all, but some of them are not happy because of the bug. It will take time to find out why some of the users are unhappy. And in the end, developers would find the bug. So what is the bug? First name and last name are separate fields, so some of the users can't put their names properly. As we said, for most websites it's not important. But for other websites, like social media, users should be able to enter the proper name. Fixing the bug in the production environment is very complex. You need to redesign the database, create new APIs, and update the front end. It will take a couple of days, or even weeks. A lot of users will already be gone from the website. And you will need to migrate the data of those who have registered already. 
it will be the night deployment and like 20 people will be involved. Long story short, it is time-consuming and it costs a lot of money and reputation. So, how testing can help to avoid such problems? Let's start from top to bottom. Let's say what would happen if testers would test in the production phase, in our case probably zero benefits. Even if testers would catch that bug, the process of fixing it won't change. So testing in production doesn't save a lot of time or money in most of the cases. And what about the coding phase? Testing at this stage is beneficial. If you catch a bug, then the end users won't face issues. So you will save a lot of money and time. And a lot of organizations use this approach. They introduce the testers at this stage. But you can see that it's not the best approach. As we said, fixing bugs in the development phase is still very costly and time-consuming. Developers still will need to fix the database back-end and front-end. So, the earlier testing starts, the more money and time it saves. If we would find the bug in the design phase, then developers wouldn't waste their time. They would develop a valid registration from scratch. And the same with the requirements phase. As we said, fixing requirements is not free, but it is much cheaper than redrawing the design. And significantly cheaper than coding, and that's why testing saves time and money. We hope this simple example demonstrates it very well. Well, that's all on our site. You can pause the video and read the theoretical explanation on our site one more time. And that's our answer to the question. Early testing saves time and money.